really excited to be here today. We're talking about GitLab 14. We release a new version of GitLab every month on the 22nd. We've been doing that for 117 consecutive months. With that kind of um, history, it can be easy to you know, overlook a release. It can start to feel a little bit routine. Um, and so we love these round number releases because they give us a chance to step back and reflect. Over the past five years, we've had 10,000 community contributions from thousands of community members, and that's all part of this GitLab 14 release. So thank you to everyone who's contributed. The velocity that you were promised from DevOps, uh, we've got great built-in security tools, um, and we're constantly providing new insights into where you are in your DevOps journey so that you can understand where the gaps are, um, begin to adopt, you know, kind of new stages of the DevOps lifecycle that maybe you're not putting to, to full use and that'll help filter back to that velocity bit. In CI/CD editor, and it asks me, I don't have a CI/CD uh, or GitLab CI YAML yet. Please create one. Okay, then let's click on that. I don't, and I'm, I'm not only getting um, an editor, which allows me to input my YAML, but I also get a, a pre-filled template, um, which is super nice. And on the right-hand side, I also get a pain of saying, hey, um, you are just getting started with CI/CD, run your first pipeline, some additional tips and tricks. You made a mistake. I get immediate feedback, which I didn't have before. So it, for example, missed the two space in the YAML because tabs do not exist. Um, this will be automatically detected. And in this specific case, I could, for example, check visualize. It tells me the test stage and the two jobs being created. The linting job um, actually produces the output, what is there. Um, but I'm essentially interested in what is the merged configuration, the merged YAML, which is actually then executed by the runner. Um, and when I click on lint, I can actually see what is being uh, generated from that. So I will have a multitude of jobs um, being generated from the parallel metrics. I can verify that. I don't need to wait for any commit, commit, push, run, I execute something, and five minutes later, I get the result in, in the worst case. Uh, another feature that I found awesome from this last major release, since GitLab 14, we had now uh, pronounced boards for GitLab's profiles. You can see like uh, here, for example, and uh, I show you my GitLab profile uh, with my name. Um, next to it, I had my pronouns. So during the pronouns are words that people used to refer to us were using their names. Uh, using per, uh, person correct pronouns foster an inclusive environment and our friends have person's their identity. My, my favorite feature beyond many 14 features is the GitLab VS Code extension because I personally use GitLab, uh, GitLab a lot and I also use VS Code a lot. And I was happy when the announcement last year came out that GitLab workflow is now taken over by GitLab itself and, and then type GitLab and here you can see there are a lot of uh, commands which you can use. Uh, a lot of them super useful features. So the cool thing is uh, you can just type command GP and say GitLab CI validate config and if everything works you see a, a notification that your CI is valid and if I like I can write any kind of comment or I can use obviously all kinds of shortcuts to close this to get over whatever you want to do it should support everything you know from the familiar website is that when I have a review for example I can say hey which which uh, request I should review and the nice thing in the new edition is that I now can enter some comments it's not just like a security as a small feature anymore, right? It's it's all of these things um, that co comprise like an entire security plan. And so my number one piece of this is the fact that we move static code analysis, analysis to core. And we did that in 13.3. And I think that's huge because, you know, the fact that I'm a GitLab person now and, and get paid by GitLab, I've never set up static code analysis. And why? Well, because it was hard. Well, it wasn't that hard but there wasn't a button to do it. Well, guess what? Now there's a button to do it. Yeah, 10 minutes, that's the problem. Um...